Dental implants replace missing teeth. The design of a dental implant is based on the design of a natural tooth. A natural tooth is one piece commonly described as having two main parts. One part is the crown that sits above the gums. The second part is a root that sits securely in your jawbone. A dental implant treatment may involve several pieces. However, it may also be described as having two main parts. One part is a restoration that is custom fabricated to match the shape of a natural tooth crown. The second part is the implant that replaces the function of a natural tooth root. Implants are made of titanium or titanium alloy. Unlike most materials, our body normally accepts titanium without infection. The first phase of implant treatment involves creating an opening in the jawbone in preparation for the implant. The implant is then placed, followed by a healing cover. Depending on the implant system, the gums may be sutured and a temporary denture placed. The site immediately begins to heal. A process known as osseointegration takes place, where bone molecules begin to attach themselves to the titanium surrounding the implant. It usually takes between two to four months for the bone to securely bond to the entire implant surface. The final phase involves the custom restoration being fitted and securely placed. This movie shows the extraction of a broken tooth with an implant being placed at the same time as the extraction. The gum is reflected and the tooth is carefully removed without damaging more bone. The void created by the tooth root is now ready to be prepared. The implant fixture is then placed into this prepared site. Note that there is a small void between the tooth socket and the implant fixture. Bone or bone substitute from various sources can be placed in the void. The implant is covered with a healing cap. The gums are repositioned and sutured into place. A provisional denture can be used as a temporary tooth replacement. The sutures are removed or they will resorb. The healing cap helps the gums heal and allows access to the implant fixture for restoration. After the healing period, the healing cap is replaced with an abutment and crown. All our teeth are held securely in the jawbone. Disease, decay, or trauma may lead to tooth loss. If a lost tooth is not immediately replaced, the surrounding bone begins to collapse and shrink. With no adjacent support, the neighboring teeth begin to drift toward the area of the missing tooth. The amount of bone loss and the pattern of drifting will vary depending on the individual and the location of tooth loss. The drifting of one tooth may lead to the drifting of several teeth resulting in a significant amount of movement. Periodontal disease may begin to form after your teeth have drifted and erupted because it becomes difficult to properly clean your gums and reach all of the pockets in those areas. This may lead to tooth decay, receding gums, and further tooth loss. If you have lost a single tooth, you have various tooth replacement options to consider. One option would be a single tooth partial denture. A major consequence of this option is the bone loss that occurs due to the absence of the natural tooth root. Biting forces will cause the partial to move and shift because its design lacks a secure connection. 
Many partial denture wearers may also experience discomfort and gum irritation. In a second option, known as a resin-bonded bridge, a high-speed drill is used to cut into the back of the neighboring teeth. A prosthesis is then added to the back of your natural teeth. With the absence of the natural tooth root, the bone above the crown begins to shrink. Everyday biting forces will also begin to apply opposing pressures that will loosen the bond over time. The third option is referred to as a fixed bridge. A high-speed drill shaves down a significant amount of the neighboring teeth's natural structure. This prepares the teeth for the fitting of a fabricated three-unit bridge that is cemented in place. However, bone loss soon occurs, and plaque buildup is common below the margins of the crowns. The neighboring teeth lack adequate tooth structure which makes them weaker and more susceptible to tooth decay. Tooth decay leads to root canals and a root canal can eventually cause additional tooth loss. The bridge can be repaired by the preparation of an additional tooth and the cementing of a four-unit bridge. Additional bone loss occurs and there is still consequences of additional tooth decay and root canal disease that may lead to another failed bridge. The fourth option replaces the natural tooth root with a dental implant that is inserted into the bone. An abutment is secured to the implant and a crown is secured to the abutment. The dental implant option closely mimics the design and function of your natural tooth. The dental implant is the most secure option with a solid foundation of bone that keeps it stable, withstanding the forces of biting and chewing. An implant feels and functions like a natural tooth, and it is proven to outlast all other tooth replacement options.